Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Sean with Blue Ridge Silverhound and today we are going to take a look at the top 10 most valuable Lincoln pennies, this time from Heritage Auctions. Probably one of the premier auction services for not just coins, but a lot of other collectibles too. So if you have uh, some coins or maybe some sports cards, comic books, they even do vintage video games and fine art, please visit their website, ha.com. Go ahead and check out uh, not only what they offer uh, on their auctions, but if you have something that you want to consign that probably is time to get moved, uh, because you need the money or <clears throat> or you just don't have the place for those items. Um, I would definitely look at Heritage Auctions. Uh, they have <clears throat> probably one of the, the best um, advertising and networking uh, when it comes to their uh, auctions. So very highly recommended. But of course, Lincoln Pennies, it's probably above all else, the most widely collected U.S. coin to date. Um, new collectors go to it because it's so affordable. Um, coin roll hunters love searching Lincoln pennies with the prospect of finding some of the most rarest errors and varieties. I mean, this has it all. Uh, I, most of the time I like to go through Lincoln pennies because it offers not only, um, the most possibility, but also just tons of enjoyment. You can find coins a hundred years old or even older than that, um, going through pennies. Whereas if you went through any other denomination, that could be a little bit more tougher, but top 10 most valuable Lincoln pennies. And I have a little bit of a surprise for you. Now the top 10 Lincoln pennies along with the honor roll mentions. <laughs> so it's not just 10 pennies that we're going to look at from heritage auctions, but we are also going to look at Four more honorable mention coins. And what I'd like to do as I go through these 14 coins all together, and keep in mind, this is an extra added bonus, the extra four coins in the honorable mentions. In addition, every single date of Lincoln Penny is going to be unique and different. What does that exactly mean to you? Well, my top 10 coins aren't going to be just 1909 SVDBs and 1914Ds. Okay, there's going to be 14 different dated coins that we're going to look at. Now, of course, grade plays a huge part in the valuation of all these coins. Most of the coins, if not all of them, are graded by companies like PCGS and NGC. All right, these are some of the top tier third-party authenticators if you have some of these coins and um you know they're on the list it might be a good idea to send them off before you actually consign them to auction that way not only will people know that it is a legitimate coin of that date of that rarity but it'll also make you more money in the end um so you know that's important as well so we have unique dates, okay, of course, grade plays a huge part, a lot of these are high grades, but these coins pop up when you least expect them in like an old collection, you know, I, I actually know of someone that had an old collection of Lincoln pennies that's just in a basic Whitman album, they ended up finding, I believe, a 19, 1914D that they ended up sending out to the graders and it came back a mint state 62 red brown and they made a ton of money off of that coin but they wouldn't have known if they hadn't you know well talk to me uh <laughs> that's someone i i actually had uh messaged um through email and um you know come to find out that they have this really nice uh what looked to be just a regular circulated set of uh, Lincoln cents, but there is a few gems in there. The 14D was one of them. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the first honorable mention. And um, we have a 1928S. Uh, not your run of the mill kind of like expensive coin on the list, but you know, at this grade level, um, there are few and few of these out there available. Um, you know, again, make sure you check, uh, you, you know, an old collection that might have this. Uh, I don't know if you'll come across this coin roll hunting. You might. I, I don't know. There, there's people that do wacky stuff all the time, like, you know, deposit old coins because they just don't want to deal with it. They need the money, and then they go ahead and send it off to the bank. You just never know 
what's out there in the world today. So a little bit about this coin. This is a coin that graded PCGS Mint State 66 Red um, that is incredibly high for the date. I would say 1920s coins are, are very tough to find in Mint State condition because they were used and abused during a time of Great Depression. All right, so uh, very few of them were ever preserved in the highest grades. So that would explain why this coin is on the list. Now, this one is also CAC certified. Um, at this grade level, okay, it's quite the rarity. The population in the 66 red is only five with none that graded finer. All right, so that's pretty relevant here. This coin sold for $45,600 April 23rd, 2020. As a matter of fact, this one single coin right here is the most recent on the list. Uh, this one I just sold last year, not even a year ago. Um, so keep that in mind, okay? The market is extremely hot, and that's the main motivator for doing this video. If you guys have the coins, the market is blistering hot right now, all right? So the next coin that we have here on the honorable mentions batch is going to be a 1918D Lincoln Wheat Cent. Now, this one right here grades out PCGS Mint State 67 Red. Again, it's another tough date to find with full red. Okay, th this one right here is a beautiful example, a very, very nice investor grade piece. Um, here's the doozy. This is a population of one, which means it's the finest graded Lincoln set of this date in full red there are none graded finer which means there's none in a 67 plus there's no mint state 68s this is it this one lone single example here is what exists at the highest grade this one sold for forty five thousand six hundred dollars much like the coin before it uh this one january 10th of 2019 just a beautiful beautiful coin this one obviously judging from the uh the updated slab design and label uh this one was a relatively recent submission to pcgs the third honorable mention on the list is another tough one i have a hard time finding 1920s lincoln cents that grade mint state i actually own one but unfortunately it's not a 65 red that one is a mint state 63 brown okay and that one on its own right is a beautiful coin for my collection this one right here is a PCGS Mint State 65 Red. Again, we're talking 1920s, few and far between in full Mint State Red. As far as grade, there are 17 examples graded in Mint State 65 Red. There is one finer, I believe it's a 65 plus, so there is that one out there. This coin sold for $48,875 uh, January 5th. 2006 we're talking 15 years ago on heritage auctions this one sold for forty-eight thousand dollars. can you imagine how much this coin right here not the top pop but this one right here would sell for today in today's hot collectibles market i could only imagine that this coin will probably get close to six figures that's how rare a 1920s is at this grade level and the final honorable mention on the list is a 1909S. Now, this is just the standard San Francisco minted first year Lincoln Wheat Cent. This one does not have the Victor David Brenner initials on the reverse. We actually have one of those further up the list, but this one is just the 1909S. This one right here grades out at a PCGS Mint State 67 Red. Um, the population count is 9. In a 67 red with two that actually graded finer in a 67 plus all right so this is another coin that sold 15 years ago april 29th of 2006 again just imagine the inflation just the overall collectible market uh adjustment that this coin would have because this one ladies and gentlemen sold for fifty one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars consider this this is probably another six-figure coin right here. Although in 2006, all right, the coin market was a little bit cold then, but we had a coin here that sold 
for over $50,000. Just a truly marvelous example. The 09S is a little bit tougher to find in mint state red than the VDB initial, in spite of the fact that there is a lot less of them made for the VDB initial coin. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the actual main top 10 list from Heritage Auctions. And we are gonna go ahead and start it off with this gorgeous example, a 1916D Lincoln Wheat Scent. This one grades PCGS Mint State 67 Red. Again, coming from an era in which these coins circulated where normally people did not save these in Mint State condition, especially in full red. Now this one right here has a population count in 67 at only two in which no other coins graded finer, okay? So that puts it in pretty elite company. This coin, ladies and gentlemen, sold for $58,750 February 4th, 2016. All right, so that's a beautiful coin, uh, one in which that could either slot into a registry set, which is really popular at this day and age, or, you know, investors will pick up coins like this to put into a portfolio and they'll hold on to them for about five to 10 years or longer before they go ahead and move it again. All right, that, that's kind of a hot new trend. All right, the number nine coin on the list is going to be a 1913S. Okay, here's another tough teens date. Make sure you guys check out your collections if you have some of these 19 teens or 1920s Lincoln cents. They're all extremely valuable in higher grades. Okay, so the 13S right here is a PCGS Mint State 66 Red. This one looks like it was sold a long while ago because the pictures are a little bit older in this. Uh, but this 1913S has a population count in 66 Red of only five in which one example is graded finer at a 66 plus. Now this one right here, beautiful coin, sold for a ton of money, $63,250 January 5th of 2006. So another 15 year old coin here that sold during kind of like the, the lower valley level, all right, of, uh, of the coin market. Um, it wasn't until about three years later that the coin market exploded in light of the housing crisis and, uh, you know, the stock market. Um, it, you know, we were in a recession then and, and people were looking to pump money into collectible high-end coins such as this. This coin is probably worth double what it sold for from back in 2006. All right, the number eight coin on the list is going to be a 1923S. Talk about one of the most difficult coins to find in mid-state, period. It doesn't matter if it's a brown, red brown, or full red. 1923S, incredibly difficult. As a matter of fact, any branch mint, Denver, or San Francisco minted 1920s Lincoln scent is probably some of the most challenging coins to find raw and uncleaned and unmessed with. This is one of those dates right here. Now, this is in an older generation PCGS slab. This one is a Mint State 65 full red. It's also CAC certified. This one has a pop count in 65 red of only 16. There is one that graded a little bit finer at a 65 plus. This one sold for 66 grand. Uh, June 14th, 2018, a relatively recent sale. A uh, very difficult coin to find. All right, number seven on the list. We have a 1925D. Here we go. We're continuing the trend of some really difficult coins. This one right here is a PCGS Mint State 66 Red. Just an incredible, beautiful coin. Uh, full red, uh, you know, free of any distracting marks. This one is a superb example of this date. Population-wise, there's only three in the 66. There are none graded finer, okay, which makes this uh, one of three of the top graded 25 Ds. This one sold for $74,750 September 10th of 2009, okay? So this one was sold right at the peak of the housing um, just, yeah, disaster, <laughs> garbage fire, whatever you want to call it. Um, this this is a coin that people were pumping money into. Uh, as of today, with the collectible, collectibles market uh, inflation adjustment, this coin is probably worth somewhere in that 110 to 125 
um, K level, uh, 125,000, uh, maybe even a little bit more, okay, because it is still a uh, pop three uh, fine coin. All right, number six, we're almost halfway through, and we, we have, of course, the one of the key dates. Uh, this is a pinnacle uh, of, you know, of any Lincoln Scent collection. If you're looking to uh, do a complete typeset, of course, your travels will go through a 1914D. This is a must-have for any collection. Maybe not necessarily in this grade. This one is a PCGS Mint State 66 full red example, but you will need one for your collection regardless. This particular example right here has a population of seven in a 66 red with only one grading finer in a 66 plus. This example sold for $81,075 February 4th, 2016. All right, number five on the list. We have, ta-da, another marquee key date. You heard that right, marquee key date. That, that can be confusing a little bit. Uh, but anyways, it's a 1922 no D Lincoln scent. All right, so th this is what they call the 1922 plane. Um, all 1922 Lincoln scents were produced at the Denver Mint. All right, so don't be mistaken and think that Philadelphia struck these. Um, the D is missing due to an over uh, to a braided dye. All right, so it was polished off, or maybe the dye was clogged. One of the two. Uh, but this one also exhibits what they call the strong reverse. Uh, this is one of four different dye pairings, all right? The strong reverse is the most uh, revered, uh, the most coveted uh, dye pairing type. I believe it's dye pair number two, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this one is also CAC certified, but check out that grade. PCGS Mint State 65 Brown. It's not even a full red or even a red brown. This is just a brown example. I actually remember this coin entering the market over 12 years ago and it got a lot of buzz because this is this was the finest graded 65 brown in a brown uh, but it also had some of the most beautiful surfaces of any 22 ever ever sold on the secondary market um, this is a pop one like i had said zero finer in brown uh, this coin right here is sold for eighty two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars april 25th, 2013, not 12 years. That was only eight years ago. Sorry, that's another coin. Um, but yes, yeah, another incredibly difficult difficult coin. If you could find it, uh, mint state, you know, decent looking coins in full red is extremely rare. And um, they just don't look good. A lot of them had carbon spotting and, you know, based off of the strike, some of them just did not look very appealing. The number four coin on the list is going to be uh, the 1914D's little brother, and that's the 14S. Now, who would have thought that the San Francisco minted, a little bit higher mintage coin, would pass the 14D? Well, not I, until, you know, uh, until it came to actually finding one in Mint State Red. Uh, this one is a PCGS Mint State 66 full red example. This is this one has a pop count of only four. So there's only four examples graded in a 66 red with zero finer. That's it. This one sold for $83,375 December 4th of 2008. There you go. There's that 12-year-old coin. Um, this one right here is going to be worth a whole lot more today. This will probably be a hundred fifty thousand dollar coin, uh, because the pops are still very, very minuscule at the highest level. Number three on the list is going to be there. You go. This is uh, what we consider to be the key date of the entire Lincoln Scent series. All right, based off of mintage alone this one has a mintage of under a million all right there's so few coins business strike wise that um that are in that conversation now this is the 1909 s vdb it's got the initials on the reverse at the six o'clock position of that coin uh this one is a pcgs mint state 67 full red example what a stunner uh this one right here has a population of 15 in a mid state 67 red with none finer this coin get this sold for one hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred dollars february 27th of 2014 
Yes, when they get to be this grade, they're worth a lot of money. Life-changing money. So keep that in mind as you search through your collections or maybe lucky enough to cherry pick one of these uh, because there's a lot of money riding on it. Number two on the list has to be absolutely bonkers to be able to beat out the 1909 SVDB, and it sure is. How about the top-end doubled die or variety in the Lincoln Memorial series? Now, this is the only Lincoln Memorial on the list, which says a lot. But this is a coin that is not only in the Cherry Picker's Guide, it's in the Red Book Price Guide. It's known throughout, um, th throughout the coin roll hunting community as being the ultimate chase coin. There's been so few of these found out there and so few people have been able to monetize off of one of the biggest varieties to exist in the Lincoln Cent series uh 69s double die obverse this one of course is a pcgs mid-state 64 full red example and this one is also fs 101 in the cherry pickers guide i'm happy to say that this was the big one that sold for one hundred twenty six thousand five hundred dollars january 10th of 2008 it's hard to believe that this sale was 13 years ago i remember it like it was yesterday it it made huge headlines when it was sold way way back when all right but it's not the number one coin so what is the number one coin to have sold for the most amount of money on heritage auctions and it's going to be this out of all coins would you believe it a 1926S Lincoln Wheat Scent. This one is a PCGS Mid-State 65 Red. I, I'm still floored by the fact that this is the most priciest. Now, we, we didn't add in like the 43 bronze or anything like that. Uh, we didn't put any mint errors into the list. It's mostly just regular circulation, uh, business strike type coins at high levels, high grades. We even did the most notable Red Book Price Guide varieties. Okay, so the 26S is the big dog in the house of heritage auctions. Um, at this particular grade level, there are only two that exist in a 65 Red with none finer. Of course, we're talking about another 1920s Depression era Lincoln set. Extremely difficult to find not only in a mid state 65 but that full red is near impossible to locate of this date without second guessing the fact that the coin could be cleaned you just never know uh so how much did this one sell for how about a hundred and forty nine thousand five hundred dollars for your consideration just a staggering amount of money and this was sold back in 2006 with a pop count of only two you would think that this would be a quarter million dollar coin right here in today's hot collectibles market. Something for you guys to consider if you own high grade early date Lincoln cents. All of them are going to be extremely valuable and extremely coveted in the market of 2020, 2021 and beyond. These things are drying up in the marketplace and I'm sure the marketplace needs your coins to enter that marketplace to fulfill demand because there's just none out there. All right. So again, go ahead and check out their uh, website, heritage auctions, H a dot com. Um, I've bought tons of coins on there and their uh, consignment services is second to none in the auction world. So I want to thank you guys for joining in. Um, all photo credits go to Heritage Auctions on this one. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell for instant notification. And as always, Coinaholics, we are discovering together. You guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on the next coin video. Take care.